it's coffee time. Oh man, that's almost cold. How long has that been in there? Oh my gosh, I'm losing track of time so badly. Last night I couldn't even believe it when I realized, oh man, my lips are really chapped. I couldn't even believe it last night when I looked at the clock and realized that it was past midnight that I had been playing that game for so long. I was just like, ugh. But by this morning, I wound up a lot better. And that's all that I'm going to tell you because we had the tournament today. Um, it won't be uploaded for a bit because they have to put together the highlights and all of that and they want to give us plenty of time to make our own videos. But um, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it was fun. It was very fun. So we did that today. That took up most of the day. And I don't know why my lips are so chapped. I don't even understand why lips get chapped in the first place. Like, I don't like to use chapstick because then my lips get chapped more often. But I don't know what causes them to get chapped in the first place. Googling with Dodger. We're doing it. Uh, why do lips get chapped? The many hidden causes of chapped lips from the Dr. Oz show. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh my god, this is a huge list. Huge. Periodontal disease. Clarinet players. What? Your toothpaste. Uh, being allergic to nickel. What? The juice from citrus fruit eating figs. What? Frequent chronic chapped lips are sometimes a, I see, okay, it's talking about like, like reasons that your lips are constantly chapped and it looks like most of them are allergic reactions or like a, a reaction to some sort of a skin problem, but why do lips get chapped in general? Just air? It's the air. <laughs> air causes lips to dry and whenever your lips become dry, you should not moisten it with saliva because that worsens the dryness. Apply petroleum jelly before bedtime. Diminished moisture in the skin and around the lips. Lack of humidity in the air. Licking your lips can cause it. Okay, fine. Fine, guys. Okay. Well, I don't have any abscesses, and I'm not allergic to nickel that I know of. I feel like I would have figured that out by now, unless it was like a really light allergy. But I don't have I don't have chronic chapped lips, right? They're just like normal. Like, they just get chapped sometimes. My mom and I tried, uh, the girl who does my makeup for Daily Bite, uh, she had told me, because my lips, they don't get chapped very op often, but they get, like, um, what are the, what are the words I'm looking for? Like, like, just, I can't even think of the word. Like, they need to be exfoliated, right? They're, like, they're, like, scratchy. You know what I mean. So she was like, oh, just take like a little tiny bit of olive oil and a little tiny bit of sugar and mix them together and then rub them all over your lips. So my mom and I, while I was in Oregon for Thanksgiving, we like rubbed it all over our lips and we were like, this feels awesome. We had like this gross like olive oil sugar like all over our faces, just like, yeah. <laughs> but it worked. It felt great because like right around the edges, um, sometimes, especially maybe it's because... <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's right. Same girl. Her name's Michelle. But I'll just call her Michelle. So Michelle, my awesome makeup girl, uh, also told me that the reason that my skin was super dry because my skin was like peeling all around here and it was super gross. I was like, I don't know what's causing this. I keep putting lotion on before bed like you told me to. And she was like, well, when you go on a plane, it dries out all of your skin. So she said you might that's so funny. I totally forgot about this. She said you might wind up with um, chapped lips and you might wind up with uh, like really dry skin for a few days. Weird. Maybe it's that I was on a plane. Maybe like my whole, all my skin is just super dry because of plane time. It's been a couple of days since I got off the plane though. Only a couple of days though. Whatever. We'll blame it on the plane. But, but point being that Olive oil and sugar on the lips felt dope because when I go home, like most of the time, right around the edges of my lips, some of you will know what I'm talking about, right around the edges of my lips, it looks bright red. Like my lips are just sore around the edges of the lip and it gets like really, it gets really scratchy in there. Like my lips are just peeling and it's nasty. It's the worst. So when I did that, all of those went away. 
and my lips felt great. I was like, yay! So, at home remedies. Any of you that have crazy crust lips, like I do. I bite at my lips a lot, though, too. I told you guys that. But, um, but yeah. Anyway, so we had the tournament today. And uh, um, I started cleaning because, oh my goodness, did it. <sighs> guys, I've been gone so much that I've wound up with just, like, a mountain of laundry. And my dishes... There are a couple of dishes that have just been in the sink for like weeks. Like there, there's nothing in them, but I just never bothered cleaning them. So then today I went into the kitchen and I was like, oh, I'll clean some of these dishes that I have that I've just like rinsed out, but haven't cleaned from dinner yesterday. Cause I've been cooking every night and <laughs> there was something gross. Something gross was in the sink that was being hidden by one of those freaking pans that I just hadn't cleaned. And I went over to the sink and I was like, what is that smell? That is disgusting. And then lifted up one of the pans and there was just a thing just like stuck. Gross. So I cleaned all my dishes. I got crazy right after the tournament was done. I was like, I need to get up and do something because all of yesterday I was sitting and all of today so far I've been sitting. So I was like, I need to get up and move my body and do something productive because my home is turning into a cesspool. So I've done two loads of laundry so far. And I did all my dishes. I'm just like, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Feels so much better. So now I can record some butt bag. Because I haven't played Monster Hunter in forever. So it's going to be me like trying to remember how to play Monster Hunter. <laughs> but I feel like, it, you know, it would be hard to forget. Right? It would be hard to forget how to play Monster Hunter. It's also been, I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this because depending on your answer tomorrow I'm either filming a QA and a or something else so it's been suggested by multiple people that having a QA and a every single week instead of every other week uh, is going to make it so that people just don't know what to ask anymore like really rapidly so uh, it's been suggested that instead because I've said an another really like fun thing that is also easy um, that I wanted to do is like tag videos, right? Where like I take a tag, like all of these questions have to do with anime or all these questions have to do with Sherlock or whatever, and then just answer all the questions, right? So alternating those. So one week I have a Q&A and then the next week I do like a Sherlock tag video. And then the next week I do another Q&A and then the week after that I do anime tag video. Like just, you know, alternating things that are similar, um, but that way you guys don't feel like, well, I have nothing to ask anymore, right? Uh, so let me know what you think about that because I'm curious if you all just want me to keep doing Q&As and you think tag videos would be super bore-tastic, um, then look tomorrow on Twitter and I'll ask for questions. But uh, if the tag video thing sounds like a good idea, I wanted to do it anyway, so alternating it with Q&A would make sense. Um, but if that doesn't sound like it would be fun, then... Just let me know. Just let me know, you guys. You know, just like whatever. Uh, yeah. <sighs> what else? This is seaweed. And I had one sheet of seaweed because I eat seaweed as a snack. So I had one sheet of seaweed that was just like sitting on my desk that I had brought out to like eat. I like super salty. Like I don't, I don't like to eat a lot of it at once. And I forgot to eat it. And then <laughs> when I came home from work today, that's not my alarm, right? No. Phew. When I came home from work today, it looks like this. And I realized that one of the cats must have licked it a bunch. And it just like curled up on itself. Awkward. So I need to throw that out. <laughs> Keep looking at it and just like giggling a little. But I realized that that much salt is probably not good. It's not good for kitty, huh? Hey, it's not good for Katie. Cats have been so cute since I got home. They've been just like all up on me. They love me so much. So I'm going to drink it in. I think they assume that I'm just going to like leave again. So I'm going to just like drink in all that love. that All that loveness. <laughs> um, but yeah. I say that so much. I say but yeah so much. I need to stop. 
I need to get a handle on this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do more laundry. I'm gonna play some book bag and make dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet, but I'm gonna make it. And I hope that you guys had a great day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye! -bye.